it's not watercolor, is it? Gouache. Yeah, I thought oh. it had a bit of a hint of something in it. Traitor. Sorry. <laughs> I framed it up as well, so. Yeah, it looks mm. nice. Gave it a more, I wasn't sure of the original size, so I thought I'll give it a nice border to make it look more yeah. imposing. <clears throat> it's got a contemporary feel to it, Gordy. Sorry? It's got a bit <laughs> of a contemporary feel to it. You know, a bit, not abstract. Bit last but, week, that, that came back a bit. <laughs> it's gone. Disappeared. Oh, I think he's eating his breakfast. Yeah. It's he's probably last the Christmas oh, cake, I expect. Last year's <laughs> Marks and Sparks Christmas cake. Yeah. I think you're overselling it. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that one's Christine's. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Is that Chris? Mike Horizon is running downhill. I can see it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny, isn't it, when you look back and you spot Yeah, yeah. I didn't mm. notice it before. <laughs> I'll put yeah, I've, I've... I'm and it's still go downhill. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure whether I, I mean, I can straighten it, but will it work? Yeah, don't worry. Um, let's have a, look, if I go like that, hang on, two six. If I did, if I straightened it, then it would <laughs> mean I have to um, crop so much of the image down, yeah. which is great for. Um, I got a pile of water on my computer keyboard now. <laughs> I'll take a pile. Did it all drain out? Supposed to put it in your. You're supposed to put it to your mouth. Anyway, <laughs> this one is our Carol. Carols, oh, very yeah. sweet. <laughs> that all in it. It's very. I showed Mel last. Are you using? What paper is that, Carol? Um, I don't know. I think it's some. I bought some of that cheap stuff, like you had that thick stuff. <laughs> so I think. <laughs> And then I put a bit of um, um, pastel on it. The um, yeah. I got some pearlized bits on the sea and on yes. the hills, but you can't really see it there. If you hold it at an angle, you can see it shimmering. It's great, isn't it? Hmm. So everyone's trying to give the 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 rocks the extra. Um, texture and make it try and make it yeah um look three-dimensional which is great it's nice and looks lovely frame that one that's yeah, quite classic yes. love the sky yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely amazing when you frame them what it what difference Ooh, no. all of a sudden you think oh mm. that could be in a gallery you know couldn't it mm. I like that one. The difference between Gordon and Anne. It's quite, <laughs> quite interesting. <laughs> I've missed one off here. Yeah, we often have differences. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> this one is our Pauline's. Mm, it's nice. And um, that's it. It wasn't till after she said she spoiled it. <laughs> really? Yeah, she spoiled it for me. She said, wasn't till after I looked at it back, I thought, oh, it looks like a tiger. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a bit darker. And then <clears throat> to compound it, Mel came along and I was, I was saying, like, I was sort of showing Mel. She, well, she asked last night what what was going on. Um, then she came along. She said, "Oh, I said, yeah." Pauline said it's till she said it. I didn't know, didn't think about it. And then she said, "It's a bit like a tiger." 
And then Mel said, well, she said, um, which way? Counterclockwise. So I can see a seahorse. And I thought, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be, really. Yeah. <laughs> and you know how to paint those now. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's really, if you put it. Oh, wow, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, I see all this <laughs> always point that way. In my world. Oh, um, optical <laughs> illusion. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, very clever. <laughs> that was, yeah, quite good fun. <laughs> one thing she did say, one thing Mel did say, that um, like she says it every time. Right? Well, when I show it, she doesn't look at them that often, but she said, "Like no, that's, you know, that's amazing. You've got sort of a little group of proper established artists now." And I think, well, you don't tell them that. <laughs> we're saying we're all the same though we don't think that. <laughs> I, think, I think you have to um perhaps start gauging yourself from um or your own images i i tend to do it or i used to sort of on a scale of one to ten or something and that that way it gives you a i don't know challenges you a bit but after a while, you just intuitively know, don't you think, well, that's a 10. No, they're never a 10, but... <laughs> a zero. Zero, yeah. The portrait uh, definitely minor zero. <laughs> it is. What, yeah, what I find, what I, the way I look at it, I mean, it is important to talk about it, but the way I look at it is I know that... On a scale of ten, they're all going. Nothing's going to be below seven, six and a half at the at the outside. If it's six, six or six and a half, then I'll do something to make it an eight or a nine. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. So even on a a terrible day, like today's going to be a bit dodgy. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not going to be below seven on my scale, on my Richter scale. Yeah, I suppose I've got the advantage that I've that I've sold a lot of pictures. Yeah, you've been doing I, it a lot longer than us as well. <laughs> um, I don't know, but mm. after you've sold, after you've sold, you've gone through that process of meeting people, um and R in with you and haggling a bit and talking about your picture and and I. After a while, you get to know the good ones and the real not so good ones, you know. Mm. And the, their enthusiasm gives you a sort of a gauge, really, isn't it? A sort of a thing. And every time you sell one for, you know, cool. most of mine were always like, I don't know, 100 pounds, average probably 85, 90. Because mm. that was the marketplace. And you just sort of know occasionally you get someone you'd look at it and think i'm not going to get 90 quid for that <laughs> like you say it's not until you frame it like chrissy says oh, i didn't realize till later that the, the horizon was running down like that <laughs> or there are things like that i wouldn't get mine getting 90p for one of mine <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, dave did mine not reach you no I, have, I haven't seen yours. Oh. Ah. Oh. Sorry. I, mean, said that okay. I thought we hadn't seen Joyce's. No. It's not come, Joyce. Right. I sent you another one yesterday of my barge as well. I haven't got that either. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I shall go back to the drawing board and have a look. I know. Just go back <laughs> to read. To... No, I haven't got any emails from Joyce. Oh my goodness. For quite a while. <laughs> I've got one <laughs> from um, the 1st of January, which was Sitting Bull. Mm -hmm. That's the last one I've got. There was one yesterday and there was one well, you're on not, Saturday. You're not on my black 
blacklist. So I was, I was, you know, I was wondering actually. <laughs> I thought that's dustbin. I think. <laughs> what I could do, um, just hang on a sec. If I, I'm just going to send you a reply, and it just from sitting board just says love it. So the thing to do is to attach the two images as a mm -hmm. reply to that that email. Okay. Thank you. I apologise for that. It's not oh no, that it's fine. No, I just. You know, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Well, I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was unusual for you not to have done one, Joyce. <laughs> no, I got. I was very enthusiastic about it. Um, oh, Joyce is in my life nearly every day because I've got a scarf. I walk around all day with a scarf. Oh, do you really? <laughs> Oh, it's one of those things. Uh, if, I if I don't, I miss it. All <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and I'll go outside and I think, oh, it's freezing. It. What's that draw? <laughs> so, yeah. And I've still got, I've still got the blue one over there. Oh, do you ever I, wear that one? I won't oh, even wear that. No, oh, I, that's right. the best. I keep that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You don't something. go anywhere. <laughs> I might go out, put the bins out or something. You know, oh. It's something best. Anyway, let's have a let's do some painting for a laugh. <laughs> Today's oh. subject is great fun. Um, ooh, it's telling mm -hmm. me that I've spot no, it has. I, I think I've done it, made it on a slight phone call. I'm going to change my microphone so I won't miss it. I can find it. Ah, there it is. It's one of those clip on ones. Feel like you're in a TV studio. I'll be back. I'm on my up. Yeah, you're okay. Well, I say it's such a. I mean, look at it. How can you make a picture out of that? Well, that was the that was the, the sort of challenge, really. Um, don't know if it'll. If I put the, it's still dull, isn't it? It's really, make a lot of difference. Um, yeah, so, but I thought mm, this would be a little bit more challenging, but I did, then I had the bright idea, I printed it out A4, and I thought, mm, that tree in the background looks interesting, and then I put it in the front. The trouble is, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be a slightly out of scale, so then I thought, oh, I'll be like Joyce doing a sort of more modern approach to it all. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, well, should I rub it out and ignore it and do it? So, and then this morning I thought, I oh, know I do, I'll put a bloke with a bike. <laughs> I penciled it in, but I couldn't mask it out with any masking fluid because it's so fine, thin lines. So I put the pencil lines quite strong. And the plan is that they'll, that they'll it'll still show up even after um what's it after I put, after I put some paint over it. Well, that's my theory. My palette this week is the same old trusty one from last week. <laughs> well, last week was quite good really because the well ups and downs the, the painting. I was really pleased with it. And Melanie kept saying, mm, that's good, that. And I thought, well, it smells saying that, leave it alone. Mm. So, I haven't, so I haven't really tweaked it much. And then I got, what happens between Tuesday lunchtime, one Tuesday lunchtime and the following one, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I've got... Um, I think, well, I've got that little bit of blue here. Remember that blue from last week? It's one that I bought from Jackson's called 
Horizon Blue. It's really expensive. Um, whole bean. Whole bean sounds, to me, it sounds German, doesn't it? Mm. It's not, it's Japanese. Oh. I'll get my head around that. Unless I'm mistaken. No, it's not, it's Japanese. And, uh, but it's really expensive paint. I was going to go on. Um, I was on Charlie Evans's website yesterday, looking at some of his stuff. And he's got the shop there and he's got some brushes. He uses these Aquafine ones. And he's got one that's um, a flat wash brush. For like, he uses it for skies and that. And I thought, oh, I'll get one of those, about a tenner. And I looked at it and I thought, well, I don't know. I've got this one from, um, what's his name? Golden, he calls it Golden Leaf, Terry Harrison's. Terry. And I thought, oh, that's as good as a, good as it comes. Yeah. As a wash brush. So I've not tried it before, so I'm just having a go today. So just loading it up with clean water. And I'm going to stick with the, I'm not worried about the trees. I'm doing a Charlie Evans. Just, just ignore it. Just make make it nice and wet and stick some paint on it and work. And have a laugh. I like his sort of gay, carefree attitude. Um, could use that brush to carry on with the painting some blue. But anyway, I've got. I'm going to stick with that blue because it's such a, a lovely blue. Horizon blue, it's called. And I'm just going to use up what's in the palette from last week. Practice what you preach. Such a, well, I think the lesson or the, the learning bit of it is keep with the sky anyway. With, if you start with a nice fresh sky, then the painting might follow through <laughs> and mm -hmm. stay nice and fresh as well. Because there is a tendency this year, especially I'm stood here looking out the window, looking at the, a gloomy day. And it does reflect in your paintings. What I, I've run out of it now. But just for a laugh, I'll, I'll add a little bit of... Um, ultramarine onto the top of it. Let it run down. Why not? Let it blend in. See what happens. It's the one time where in watercolours anyway, well, in acrylics as well, that you can have a bit of therapy and just sort of blend your paint in, have a bit of fun, see what happens, add more colours. I'm just sticking with a nice simple blue sky on this, but it's a, it's a graduated wash, isn't it? So that's a good training good practice thing to do it's great when you've got this when you're at this stage because you can carry on for quite a while especially with this um two rivers meet paper two rivers mm. paper it's quite um quite forgiving when you you know when you um Splashing paint all over it. I always add a few clouds. Just dry brush, just a flat brush, dab them in. And I think I might have some there. There's a sneak, I'm going to sneak a little bit over there and rely on the watercolour. God, to tidy that up as it dries. I must admit, I can't remember if I was doing it before, but I quite like.
this way of just using a flat brush to lift some clouds off. If you want to put some yucky, dull, shadowy colours on the bottom, just drop them in. Personally, I've sort of gone off of that lately. Just a bit of dirty water out of the palette, really. <coughs> I don't think there is a forest at Ferndown. Not as far as I'm aware. And no, woods, I would say, but not a forest. Yeah. Mm. So I'll put that bit of grey there, and I'm, I'm thinking I don't really like it. Anyway, let it go. Just going to grab my hair dryer a sec. Just sort of tease it off. Or shall I? <laughs> Maybe not. Well, I've got other colours that I can play with. The next one is um, same scenario, really. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at this. Sort of ref image, reference image, thinking we've got the, um, the sky. Now I've got raw sienna, or a little hint of burnt sienna and raw sienna together. So I'm not sticking, and there's a hint of it going through the background there. So I've drawn a pencil line that goes right across the background there. So Bit of damp water, clean damp, clean water. I drew a horizon line just across there. So I'm just going to look at look at my reference image and think, where's the raw sienna, burnt sienna colours? Drop them in. I think we're going for an early lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hmm. Ever since I remembered that guy saying it takes more than an hour, it's not a watercolour. <laughs> it's sort of stuck in my mind. Anyway, I've made a few bit areas damp and I've got some raw sienna. Just a, loop, a, a light wash of it because at this stage I'm not um, thinking about the sort of dark details, the makeups and bits here. Bear in mind it's watercolour, so it's going to. Um, what's the bit off? It's going to dry back light as well, so which is handy. Well, by handy I mean because I'm put if we put it on a bit too dark. It, it will tease itself back to a lighter colour. The decision where the path is, really. And I'm also going to add a little bit of raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna, just to warm it up. Use the other side of the board for that thing. It's definitely some hints of it seem to be the popular brush today the flat mr flat brush coming in i haven't sketched two of these today either like i did with sitting bull well, that was very um weird that was so I actually sketched it twice it's almost like I knew that something would go wrong <laughs> I, I forgot to record or something you know weird I think it was that it was just two different um I'm just dabbing some burnt sienna in using the the brush has gone with like I was gonna say forked it's just where it's dry, it's making little 
tooth marks in it. So I'm just utilizing those. I think just to give an intimation that there are some sort of grassy bits floating around. Yes, 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 yes. Right. And my next uh, next adventure, since I've run out of the, um, the lovely blue, what I need there's a little bit of in my palette. What I've been doing lately, apart from the fact burnt sienna's dribbled itself across into that into the blue, which I'm not very pleased about. But that cerulean blue on that half of it, and the other half have squirted in ultramarine. I'm just going to see if I can use a brush to pop that back over. <laughs> just dribbling over. I just wanted a little bit of the cerulean blue to, um, ooh, a little bit. <laughs> Because I think this is a puddle here, yeah? or some sort of puddly thing. So I thought I might as well. That would be a good idea. It's a bit like the windows in houses. If I don't put them in early, I'll forget them. I'll come down with that. Just leave it. Awesome. Certainly finished now. Wow, look at the speed this boy's going. Uh, sky is fairly dry now. Not too bad. So, what I'm going to do is keep it well, a little bit of clean water on the horizon trees. Keep going. Clean water, my foot. It's got a bit of purple in this um, brush. Well, that's that's handy. I guess I was using this to paint flesh with. It's a bit of um, sitting ball on it. <laughs> anyway, what am I going to do with it? I was going to put. A smidgen of blue. I'm not gonna I'm gonna forget about the um for a minute for the time being anyway. The foliage on these background trees, I'll just dry it off while it's damp. A bit of burnt sienna for a minute. See if we can get away with three colours. Might be better off with my flat brush there. Seems to be. Every week a theme comes through, doesn't it? A, a particular brush, a particular colour. So I'm just going to drop it in while it's damp. A bit of burnt sienna. And ultimately some of my newfound friend. That's a little bit more blue. Don't be, well, towards the bottom where it's going to be darker anyway. My newfound friend, which is um, Hooker's Green. I'm, I'm being really brave here. So I don't know what's going to happen. Well, we know it's going to be green of some description. But, yeah, I quite like this. Almost using it like I would the fan brush. And I'm thinking, even though it's, I don't know why I'm thinking Avon Valley. When you go over Matcham's Lane and all that, Catherine's Hill. It's not really working with this brush. So it's not what I was hoping. I wanted some more spiky bits, but just a bit of that hooker's green. And we know from past experience that the hooker's green, when, when hinted, touched on the, um, 
think I'm going to get the little fan brush if I can, just to give it a, use it dry and push it away. I want it to be faint, but I like it to look like there's um, some trees. Mm. Quite like. You can always add a little bit of extra darky bits to the bottom. Just push it up. Just, just sort of gently tease it up, and it'll. I think the little, the key bit is to, is the, the initial background colours just to set them off. If we get a taller tree up there, shake it. Just a bit. But you can, I think you could spend quite a bit of time doing this. And as a, I think I'm getting the um, non gloomy day feel to it. Probably do this for quite some quite a while. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Do I do it now or do I do it later? Hair dryer. Dry it off for a sec. And then whip the um put some masking fluid on the tree so I'm going to get rid of that first off find the hair dryer My um, it's like the <laughs> my tape is stuck over there, so I've got a big bit it coming out there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna rub the um. Some fluid off that I put on there. And uh, it's a bit, I was going to say, it's not, oops, wrong brush. Mix up, mix up some darks. I've got some lovely darks here from last week. Waste not, want not. Add some blue into that. And some burnt umber. And I've got a nice dark. Let's have a little bit of hooker's green as well. Take the edge off it. We don't like black, but we don't mind greeny black colour. I'm going to use a um, huge brush on this. I've got to find a new rigger. 
Just going to use that. And a small brush. Just going to sit down and set for this. And make clean water on the trunk of the tree. And a little bit of raw sienna going down. Just to give it a highlight. Even stuck a little bit, little bit of um, flesh colour there from last week. Could drop that in it would it? While it's still damp, this really dark colour. I'll drop it in. Because I'm left-handed, I'm just going to drop it into the right-hand side. Sounds wrong but it's just seems because i know it's going to run so it'll run towards me the other way <laughs> oh, yeah. i've got a little bit of flesh tone here on a rigger try and now fix all these little white lines i've got where the masking fluid was. I knew it was a mistake when I did it. I thought, oh, I'm going to end up with twigs everywhere. So now I'm chasing them quickly as well. I'm not, not messing about. I can see where they, where the white lines are. And I'm just Squishing them with a bit of this fleshy colour. At some point. Because I'm conscious of time, I'm rushing, well, not rushing, but I'm doing it quite quickly. Sometimes, though, <laughs> when you do things quickly, you know. It works, you get a more natural looking, I don't know, just turns out better. You can be over cautious, can't you? So you sort of, and, it, and then instead of just going for it, you, you're sort of thinking, oh, hang on, I'll just put the brush, oh, no, oh, no. Well, I mustn't press too hard. If you just sort of say, oh, I don't care. Well, you do care, but it's sort of going for the fun bit. But I did spend quite well a few minutes um, sketching the tree because it is quite a distinctive tree, isn't it? Well, it's a bit of a actually. Thinking about it, it's a bit of a, a non-tree. It's sort of, is it a tree? Is it not? It can't make up its mind if it's alive or... I've just grabbed some of that shadow colour, dark colour. I'm just following my initial lines. Where's Terry when we need him? <laughs> Mm. I haven't heard from him for a while. I think he's still alive and kicking. Brian, yesterday. Did he? Is he okay? He's okay, yeah. I've sent him your pictures again. Oh. Well, I kind of, I was thinking about it. I was thinking unkindly, really, earlier. Thinking, well, if he. Think, oh, it's a shame he doesn't doesn't come on a Tuesday, you know. So and I'm thinking, well, it's not really his bag. No, he can't. People are, he just can't control all the technology. Uh, yeah, there's. I was thinking that, but equally, I think, well, not everybody 
does it for diff we all do it for different reasons yeah terry it's her you know it's just he likes to go out and you know bump into people and yeah. do stuff you know where did i meet him new uh wimble market and yeah that's right all that sort of stuff so there, yeah so i think it's moved to the Arundel Centre, is it? In I, did hear, uh, I did hear something about it. Yeah, somebody was telling me the other day that they have it there. Oh, if it has actually moved? I thought it was still yeah. under discussion. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's actually moved. What, into the car park? Yeah, and inside the, is it the uh, Arundel or? Uh, in the Arundel. The Arundel, yeah. the Arundel, yeah. Inside oh. and outside, I think. Oh. Of course, they've got a cafe there as well, haven't they? So. Very good one, used to be. Yeah. Very cheap and cheerful. But I don't know what day, whether it's the same day or not. I don't know. You're right. That's good, though. Yeah. I, I, think I think they were only going to have one day, weren't they? As opposed yeah. to had in the market. Yeah. I'll have to find out because my friend lives in Wimborne, so I think it was her that was telling me. So. I think all the years I spent there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't even go there to to anything to do with art. I made those blue boxes, didn't I? I designed those. I had this notion to design and sell these art boxes. Oh yes. And. Uh, I still use them now myself. Yeah. I've got documents in them and <laughs> all kinds of things. I've got a loft full somewhere. Um, anyway, I think this tree is interesting. I think putting the, um, the flesh straight raw sienna it's quite a neat way of giving it some colour and then just going over it with a, a brush. I don't want to get bogged down with a, doing it. I mean, you could spend a long time doing this and eventually get um, some watercolour pencils out and, and put even more fine lines on as well. Because it's, if you look at the image, it's just a mass of fine twigs, which I'm going to do with a fan brush, dry, or attempt to. Just, oh, <laughs> I, I, I sort of pushed it down and it's, I said I wanted little just go over the edge. It's almost like weeping willow, isn't it? It just sticks on. They're very subtle. There's so many of them. You never paint them all. But what you can do is give the impression of them. And seeing as it's spring, <laughs> I might even stick a few. I'm quite pleased with that, actually. It's turned out all right. Considering I was of doing it. I think the beauty of these Tuesday mornings uh, is the variety of subjects that we're doing. That it, after a while, we're becoming more competent in different um, well, having to invent ways of painting, you know, impressions of this, that, and everything. I think the, um, 
Hooker's green. I'm quite pleased about that. After all these years of throwing the tubes away. <laughs> well, I don't know if I've actually thrown them away. I've probably just not bothered with them. But it's an interesting colour. You can just by overcook it, dab a few. on Dave that did might make it a bit darker later on when I look at it jubbly jubbly mm. um, what's next on the list um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I might when I've got the rigger I'm thinking oh I could use the fan brush yeah. it's going Do, 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 do. Just add a few extra. Get some more of that dark on there. Push a few extra twiggy bits in the back background. As you can see, this is one of those pictures where you're just going to have to. Ooh, not that strong. <laughs> It's just going to have to um, add, a, add a bit of our imagination. Well, it could be. It could be that dark, couldn't it? What happened with this brush? It's amazing. <laughs> it's almost like, oh, I think one. Hang on. Yeah. This, on the, on the side, it's got two metal things and I where I pressed it down I actually bent the thing. Oh uh, right so that, yeah so all the hair is sort of bent with it. Yeah. yeah it's a good trick that. Oh right. <laughs> bent our brushes. <laughs> <laughs> I must have pushed it down a bit too hard. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay Keggy. I think um my homework is probably just gonna be Teasing some more, I don't know, balancing up the twigs on the tree. Other than that, we'll do. Um, ah, next bit, while well, we've got twigs on our, I drew a few straight, straight lines over here with the view to thinking they were. branches within whatever is behind there. I think it might be a bit longer than I wanted. Let's no? yeah. yeah. pop them in. There's one there as well, I think. So what's the problem, isn't it? When you draw something the day before, when you come to look at it the next day, you're not sure what the lines were. <laughs> so. Forgive me if I invent something that I didn't plan. Uh, yeah, why not? Amazing how things dry. This is all all damp a minute ago. It's all starting to dry out. My little palette. Get my atomizer on it. That dark blob that you put on there looks like a big black dog running away. Yeah, I know it's I that. Was I just think that. Yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> I should leave it. <laughs> it won't be there. It, yeah. <laughs> well, it is a, I did say it's a dog walking area. <laughs> but um, as you know, the wind blows predominantly in certain ways. So <laughs> I'm making this up. The <laughs> trees, the branches do blow a, you know, they tend to lean in a certain area, certain uh, way. That's okay. Right. Um, enough wrapping around. Quick dry. And then we're going to 
put some stuff on it. I've had enough. Love them. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Big blob of raw sienna in this guy. What am I doing? Using a hairdryer to dry it. That's <laughs> it. It'll, it'll dry out. I'll blend it. <laughs> well, I was doing quite well then till that. It's always summer, isn't it? And also, I've got the little blob there that can't be there. So I need to lift that out. Why? Because that's where the figure is headed. There's a figure there. There might be. And... Um, that's going to be dark, so it'll be a dark, a dark, dark on a dark, dark, dark. Mm. So it won't show up as. Now then, where's it gone? Come on, oh, there it is. My warped, what's the name brush. So all I'm going to do is get some raw sienna. He says, sticking his hand into some sort of yellow colour. Mm. Well, I'm going to blend some raw sienna in with it and see what happens. Um, 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 I'm going to start at the top or the bottom. What would you recommend at the top? Yeah, go. So I'm just using the, this tree at the front. I'm just thinking... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start up here. Ooh. But the plan is, it's not a tree, it's a sort of summit. Well, it could be a tree in a minute. What I wanted to do was use different... Um, Shades of the same thing. Sense. I want to use raw sienna, and then dab green and uh, blue into it, like I'm doing now. But I wanted to do it in different strengths, so that it looks like different shrubs, different trees. Oh well, this could all go horribly right. I use different, slightly brighter yellow. Let's concentrate it on this part. So, I hopefully, get some sort of variation. The end on that one. Oh yeah. A Christmas tree here. <laughs> well, this is therapy. You can have some fun with yours. Mm. If you find one that's really nice, utilize it for the others. Mm. There's no business like show business, I know. Oh, God, that brought back memories. Sorry. When I used to, um, when I was very, very young, we used to go to tap dance in class. <laughs> and that was the song. <laughs> oh, God. God, that's going back a long way. 
like 60 years though. So. <laughs> I need to mix up a bit more really dark darks, which I said was <gasps> too much. Cool. There's trouble using paint out of the tube. Sometimes it is really squishy. <laughs> well, that was. The downside of, of using a flesh tint is that it's not a proper watercolour as such. Well, not what I would class as watercolour. It's um more of a it's got more opaqueness to it. So when you mix it, when other watercolour colours come in contact to it, it it they go sort of a milky colour. Like you can see it there. It's it's a strange milky blend, which is all right in certain sense circumstances but it does tone the colour down to so when you put it on it's sort of mm, it's not what you want it's not what you need anyway. I can I can feel trouble ahead that's not too bad it's better than I thought I was going to get We use the edge of our brush, a few twiggy bits in, the end of my brush, not the edge. See what that, see if that helps. I think it does. Not too many there. Let that sort itself out. Few blue, but the darks just a few interesting bits. Has everyone got one of these fan brushes? Because they're yeah, I've got one. Yeah, I've yeah. got one. They're really it doesn't always come out like that with mine. No. <laughs> I just get a big blob of paint. <laughs> Tends to splodge. Yeah. Mm. Um, what's next? My next port of call. I'll do this edge here. All I've done is put like a pencil line there, one at the back, and you know, like they fold over, don't they? The plan was to at least make make them feel that they are different, different types of plants, I suppose, different shades. So I'm doing this missing one, leave a white cap, do one, let's do a bit there. And then add, add some, it's just raw sienna or yellow and just drop in some blue on it. And that'll give us a nice choice dark greeny colour. If you want to be flash, you can just put clean water on and let the top one that you've done dribble down into the other and then drop some real darks in there. And bear in mind that dark, it was blue brown, but I did put some hooker's green in it, so it will have a green feel to it. If you're less, less happy with it, I find not too sure about that bit, just, just drop some look at this hooker's green straight into the dark. I think, I, I think I've getting where I, where I want to be. And while I've got the dark bit, I can go around the tree. I'm trying to try and be careful because I want to want it to be over overcrowded with 
um, information. I just want it to be, I was going to say subtle, but I've, I've noticed over the weeks, if you put, there's, we're all guilty of it, sort of trying to put too much in, you know, just using the rigor fan brush I'm even put some doodara on the front. Told you we're going for an early lunch. Once you get going with these um, fan brushes, it's difficult to, to stop. It's such good fun. The um the path road way roady bit, I'm just using a bit of flesh. Tint here and there, and I'll mix up some strong green now, just add more, just really just adding a lot more hookers to the, the dark, brainy blue color. A little bit too much water in my paint there, to be quite frank. I'm not getting that lovely dryness that I was getting earlier. Well, there's no one else here painting it, Dave, so it must be something that, you, that you've been doing. Well, I've let it dry, you know, absorb a bit into the paper, and now I'm just flicking it up with the with the with the fan brush and any that as I flick into there, that's putting actually putting paint on the brush, which I can then transfer down to here. Just trying to get that lovely dry feel to it. Set the scene, doesn't it? Mm. I think I was influ influenced by Gordon's. Oh, thank you. Dirtle door here. Mm. Well, that's a, it wasn't a criticism. It was a because I was look. Obviously, you look at things and they stick in your mind, don't they? Right. Uh, I find my rigor. The thing is, I tidied all my desk up. I even bought another. Really has gone. No, 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 no. There he is. No. I tidied my desk up and I even bought a new little brush holder thing. You can get them on Etsy. They're sort of they they laser print them or la they use lasers to burn them out and you get them back and you sort of assemble them. I'll show you that in a minute. The, um, this little bit here is definitely going to need a little, try and get a reflection of that tree in it if I can, or a hint of it. Put a twig floating around. And then where it meets the path, whatever that is, I'm going to put in some rocky bits or some muddy, yucky bits, clean raw sienna, dab some raw sienna a bit. And then while it's damp, drop in some of the darks that you've got over here. So raw sienna, then a bit more of the darks, just drop it straight in onto the Little dark bits. What you might add a bit more burnt umber. I'm just thinking I'll do some more brainy bits along here. Just use the brush on its angle if you want. Just tease it along. Try and put some dry brush work in. 
flip it up even. Let's have some fun, really. Go with the, the flow. Well, what I find is sometimes I'll get some really nice, I've said this a million times, a nice flow going on the brush. And when I get, I just keep going. I think, right, try and use up as much of that paint as I can. Need to put some fizzy bits on the top of there, I think. Maybe soften that down, I don't know. I tried to put some hints of squish squash greeny bits growing in amongst the the yuck. It is a pretty barren looking place anyway, isn't it? It's not a mm. hmm. I think I've got good contrast. Um, I think the that nice bluey sky counteracts it quite well. I'm going to dry it off a minute. It's a few bits. Well, considering I didn't have a plan, well, it was easy with Doodle Door. It started da 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 da. You sketch the, the nose. Things like this aren't quite so cut and dry. And the, um, <coughs> I did put some masking fluid on that, so I was a bit concerned because it, um, not having a little fine brush, I didn't think it would um, work. It, uh, you know, you have a big blob of masking fluid and then when you rub it out, you've lost your figure. I'm just going to use some, it's a little bit of flesh. Got some of the dark colour. What colour could I use for that? I don't know. A bit more blue. Just a bit. <laughs> dear, oh dear. A bit more blue ended up being whole palette full. That's, like I say, that's because I've used tubes. Just going to paint in a little bit. Squinting my eyes up here just to see if I can make it look remotely like it's a bike. Mind you, there's a good opportunity here to, I might as well use it, use it to warm the picture up and add some crimson. I let him have blue jeans on, which is okay. So our Dave out for a ride <laughs> well what I'm thinking of really is trying to balance the picture up a bit perhaps a hint of all sienna in the um It's in crimson, rose, call it what you like. Just 
to make his face stand out a little bit, a bit more. And as soon as we've our newfound friend is hooker's green, I'm just going to put up some hooker's green on the top. Even though the the head is starting to run into it a little bit. Uh, once it's dry, I can add a little bit extra detail in. Handlebars. Just a hint of a handlebar going across there. And when it's it need to be dried off a bit, really, so I can put another dark bit there. Maybe a little bit of hint that there's some wheels there. Yeah, got blank in a bike. Well done. Chuff for that. Um, use a little bit of the purple um, to act as shadow colour. Here and there. A bit strong. It's such a strong colour. It's it's just it's soul destroying every time you, you think oh, I'll just put a little hint of detail using the shadow colour and I put it down and it's like oh my gosh it's so strong that's these Russians for you they don't mess about when they make paint just add a bit of shadowy colour while I'm in the mood. Here and there. Why not? Well, it gives me a chance to warm the picture up a bit. As I'm always telling Gordon, needs a nice wash of burnt sienna over it. <laughs> I've done that for a while. Does do the job though. A bit too much there. Lift it off. Making notes now, burnt sienna. Okay. <laughs> More, yeah. That's what I always used to say, wasn't it? What it needs is a nice, nice subtle wash. When it's bone dry, just put burnt sienna over it. I've got a new I've got a new paint box without any raw sienna in it, and I'm looking at yellow ochre and burnt sienna in it. They're okay. I mean, either or either, really, because they both are of colours. So they they work well in tandem. Yeah, that's where I was, I was going. It should give me a sort of a, a raw sienna effect, I hope. I am paying attention to what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as you sets a target, doesn't it? I've, drawn, I've, drawn, I've been drawing me a picture while you've been doodling there. Mm. Yeah, I just want this figure should have a flat cap on it. Oh gosh. Not <laughs> 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 okay then, I'm sorry, I've got to go now. So I'll see okay. you next week. It's all right, I've okay. nearly, okay. I've nearly done. Hi, Carol. Yeah. I've I think I've got to stop it. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> bye. Okay, see bye. You next week. Yeah. Bye. 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 You put a flat cap on. That's like, this should me have a helmet on? He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, old school. Old school, mate. <laughs> right. I think I'll, what I'll do now is. Grab that little bit of dinner and see if I've got a watercolour. Mm, sort of. Yep. Not too mm -hmm. bad. It's all right. It's all right. Is it? Oh, it's good. Just needs to dry off so that I can put a few more. But it is a boring subject. I mean, there's no. I mean, there's loads of stuff we could perhaps do. I mean, there's no reason why 
you can't put some flowery bits. Not they're not flowers, are they? They're sort of um, what are they? Reed. They're sort of reeds, but they're they're heathland um, type. Mm. It has seeds, doesn't it, on top of it mm. very often. And if you can just tease a few of them on it, it can sometimes make it gives you always on the hunt for especially on paintings like this that have got no um contextual interest when it comes to colour, because it hasn't, it's just bland. It could be on them in Afghanistan in the desert or something. You know, there's no everything's the same, isn't it? At this, at this time of year. So I'm always on the lookout for little, like I say, burnt sienna, or in this case, some of this um, rose madder, just to add to it, because I know it'll warm the picture up quite a lot. Hmm, quite like that. Yes. See what it looks like flat. I'll flatten it down. This is over to you now. I've had enough. <laughs> oh, I'm not bored. I'm just saying I've done it. I've done yeah. it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of in two minds about balance, but when it's dried back, I, I'll try and remember in future to add um a little bit extra of the flesh color on the the what's the word the bright side of the of the trees because mm -hmm. that looks really good there where i put uh i used i said i was going to use raw sienna but in the end i used some flesh tone from last week and painted the whole twigs with the flesh and then put the dark on it did it from one side and it looks really good that tree mm. and that was the one i was most concerned about thinking that that the scale of it's going to be too big compared to everything else in the picture but I've, I've, it's a consistent theme over the last few weeks that i've had that saying that the um the flesh that i get from um, St. Petersburg paints their flesh tone. I use it quite a lot. It, they call it flesh, but it's not. It's it's suitable for loads of areas in your picture, and it's a bright. It adds a. Um, I don't know. It adds something. So I don't know what the right words. I'm not very good at that sort of stuff, but it. It adds depth, I suppose. Almost like using white in acrylics when you finish. You just sort of go across a few areas and mm. add a few highlights. A few highlights, yeah. But they stick. And they work really well. But um, I was saying this occasion, I used them right at the start. Oh, all over me. Lovely picture now. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it by tinkering. I'm gonna leave it. There's a few bits I'll tidy up later, like that little blob in the sky. Um, that cloud on the on the right on the edge where you put the darks on. That that don't look quite. It looks like it's a bit. The tree's blown away. <laughs> Which side? <laughs> Over here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that bit there. Yeah. It's, it's not subtle. It's not subtle enough. I, I did say right at the start when I'd done it, I didn't like it. No, it's um it's too much like the tree. Yeah. I did say right when I did it, I said, mm, You did. You could, I was going on about you can put some little bit of shadow in your sky if you want. And I, then I said, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, but it will lift off. Yeah. When it's it's best to do those things later when it's dry because I've yeah. I'd like to 
um, soften this out here as well. But it's just a matter of clean water and just doing it when it's really nice and dry. Other than that, that's not bad for mornings work. No, no it's nice. I could probably a challenge. Add, add yeah. a little bit more. What looked like an easy peasy. I did say that. It isn't easy at all. <laughs> I was like, yesterday I was, well, I was sort of thinking, oh my God, what's going to happen here? I'm just going to change my microphone again. Wow. <laughs> I think without the man and the bicycle in it, it would just be boring. It's yeah. really portrait to life. Yeah. I just put yeah. my finger over it and looked at it, and I it makes such a difference. Dave says it tells a story. It does. Yeah. It does. He's got a puncture. <laughs> <laughs> and his dog's run away and hit the trees. It doesn't get any easier every week, does it? <laughs> no. no, it doesn't. Dave's disappeared. I must try and do this a bit earlier this week as I left it to the last minute with old dirty door again and then it was rushed I did think about just doing the tree did you see the picture of just the tree on its own that he sent I thought oh, yes. that might be with everything else <laughs> without everything else in the background I mean <laughs> It was very, very tempting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, there he is yeah. <laughs> We've got no sound, Dave. Turn your mic on. Say something. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, oh that's it. You're yeah. back. I don't know. Um, I'm always conscious of putting too many trees in because Joyce doesn't like them. Okay. <laughs> Total aversion. Huh. I must admit, I'm a bit like that as well. They are little rascals, aren't they? That's all. <laughs> See, in the end, I think that's why I like using the um, fan brush because it takes the angst out of it. Because as soon as you go splosh, Mm. At least it, you can sort of visual visualize um, uh, the branches or uh, some greenery of a tree straight away. Whereas mm -hmm. if you're using a booming rain brush or or it, I don't know, you've got to have a <laughs> certain way of doing it. Whereas the fan brush just develops it and goes for it straight away, doesn't it? Yeah. So, so I think that's a good way of. Uh, good way of um, getting over that inertia. Cool, oh, I told you it was going to be early lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well ah, what I might do. Um, oh, Carol's gone. Oh, everyone, take the dog with her. Uh, no, everyone's. Um, having not trouble. Getting um, the balance wrong with figures, getting confused. So, two minutes. Two minutes. We're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm still here. Don't talk about him. I did say two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> a few seconds then. Uh, let's have a I need a bit of paper, man. Oh, okay. Look, figures. You can see this. I'm going to do it. I'll do it fairly big using this pen. If you want to, if you want to be pedantic, draw a carrot and put a head on it. Yeah, but it's kind of doesn't work for me that. Just draw the legs, add the body, and then a head, or something like that. You know, try and get the, but it is a carrot shape. Even that's not too bad once you start putting some paint and some figure on it. There's a tendency to make the, do the body and little short dumpy legs and a big head. That ain't a figure, that's just wrong. Shouldn't be doing that. I don't know, it was quite like me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Glad you it's said more that. like me than those <laughs> tall skinny ones. <laughs> well, I know, here's a girl. Yeah. I think there's yeah. something wrong with your mirror, if that's so. Uh, yeah. What you see. <laughs> I know, girls, girls, I mean, it is a female mm. thing to have short legs, but if you use your brush, just don't even think about it. Just draw, just get a bit of paint, whichever color you want. Just, just do a squiggly bit in the middle. Yeah. And then put a fine line down through it. That becomes a, and you can adjust where you want the head afterwards. You think, oh, that looks a bit small. And then you can start teasing with it after. And once you've Put a little bit of, you know, anchor anchor them down. Drop in a bit of an extra colour. Or you can start, another good way that I've been doing lately is just using the flesh tone. I'll paint the whole figure, the whole blob in flesh. Then drop in some colour. That, that works really well because it's the, the nature of it of the um, paint so don't they're not I'm not going to paint them how they shouldn't be because I don't want to contaminate myself but the other so just do practice on a bit of paper if you want just do that it's, what is it it's not a square it's the middle section of a carrot but I'm not thinking that I'm just drawing a squiggly line and then adding a leg to it and then increasing the height to add the, and a head and then drop in some dark on one side of the head or you can put you know add some different colors put a backpack on make the trousers go green you know what i mean mm -hmm. if you start thinking that you'll get away from these char women. <laughs> We're not having char women. And once you put, oh, that was a nice colour. Once you put some shadow underneath, you'll get the, um, there you go. That's today's Brucey bonus. <laughs> No, it was important because I was looking at the figures that were coming through and I'm thinking, just to re it's not a, just a reminder, really. They're, they're not short and dumpy. That You get one head in it. You get eight heads in one body or eight in, a, eight in a bit. Once you get through that, you'll be all right. Thank you, Dokies. Mm. Lovely. There you go. We don't know how to change, how to do um, gallery view. Then you have to move the spotlight. 
And then you have to go to the other. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Then I have to change to the other camera. Oh, cute. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I'm going to have to say cheerio and uh, thank you this morning. The posh braces on today. Oh, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Guitarist. Oh, yeah. I'll see you all next week. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Take well, we care. Got, we got through. Bye. Thank you. My arms are looking all skinny. I've too much exercise. I like I like them on the back. Bloody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going all bony. Yeah. It's looking the secret is cross your arms and then push your muscles up with your fists. Good data. I haven't got any um any food. Deliveries today. Yeah. It's tomorrow. What? I've got to wait till tomorrow. Too. That's all I've got. Look, a bloody tangerine. I'm sure you won't starve. There's probably a cake somewhere around in your no, house. That's why I said that I've got um, calling the caterpillar from Ocado. Oh, right. But it's the Christmas version. Nelson right. Nelson. I wonder why it was cheaper. <laughs> And it says yeah. like best before 31st of December. Oh, like I'm going to throw that away. They <laughs> <laughs> so put a sugar, it doesn't go off, does it? No, no. Well, no. I'm, I'm, it's just encouraging me to eat it. Hmm. it just means Why I have not? to run around the block. <laughs> I have to run around the block yeah. twice after after lunch. Huh. Well, good, good luck with that one then. Back to the cabin and back. Oh. Right, be... well, I'm going to love you and leave you, and um, I'll see Thanks. you all next week. Oh, your okay. hair looks nice, I just noticed. Who? Your hair done. Me? Yeah. No, I haven't. Oh, shut your mouth. But. <laughs> That's nice um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll see you next week. Okay, okay everybody. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.